I know I was muted there for just a minute, so I'm going to restart. I'm not sure when I went out there. But guys, we want to welcome everybody on board, and, and uh, it's going to be a fantastic morning. And Anthony, if you can screen share in rx.com forward slash Lucium as we go into this, just want to make everybody aware of the new Lucium um, uh, uh, stuff that we have to work with that came out of marketing. John Racer, our newest head of global marketing coming out of the Lemu Corporation, extremely talented young man. We just got a new video that went live yesterday or day before yesterday now. It is tremendous to help you share the new Lucium product line. Uh, but in addition, if you go to rx.com forward slash Lucium, L-U-C-I-M, we do not have a replicated website for this line yet, but you can get customers by doing this, lucium.com forward slash, I'm sorry, rx.com forward slash Lucium. And when you get there, um, what you'll see at the bottom of the screen after you see all the different products, and then you're going to see uh, a buy now button after you look at the ingredients, learn more, different things. When you click buy now, your customer, if you sent this out on social media or you send it anywhere, um, when, you, when they click buy now, they're going to be able to order the products right there. But on the second page, it will ask who is your uh, sponsor or what ID number is this going to go underneath? So, uh, Anthony, if you can, go ahead and get us there. That way everybody can see it. So you're you're seeing all the products, you're seeing the prices. Those are going to be retail prices. They can click auto delivery uh, and save 15%. These will show up as preferred customers if you go this channel. I'm just showing you an additional channel to signing up somebody with a Lucian pack, which is always the best channel to go. But if you give them your ID number on social media, when they start filling this out, they'll be able to put their ID number in. It's just an easy, great way to get customers. And then if you um, don't know this already, you can actually do this with every division. So um, Nutrify.com would do the same thing. However, with all other divisions, you have replicated websites that you're able to turn on inside of your back office. So if you go into your ex office, go to my business, go to replicated websites. If you've never turned yours on, just know that they're all the same. It'll be Nutrify.com forward slash. It'll be Slenderize.com forward slash. It will be Purity.com forward slash. When you go to set up your replicated website, you're just going to put, you'll see it on the screen, it's going to ask you to name your duplicate name. It won't let you have it. But with Lucium, there is no replicated website. You have to go to Rx.com forward slash Lucium and give people your ID number. So we, you also always have the smart links you can send out for customers too. So that's just a little bit of housekeeping. Uh, I think there is a great, great customer grab out there on social media with Lucium, the videos, the new PDFs. Uh, marketing has done an outrageously good job of getting us set up to get customers. So we're going to begin the morning now on the business training. And after being full-time in the industry for 19 years, we've made over $20 million in that 19 years in the industry. The one thing I have found that is true, tried, and tested is the people who are building a business on the front lines of your company, because every company is different. I, there's always merit in listening to quote network marketer trainers that aren't ever really building their own team. There's sometimes things that they can deliver. I, I don't want to diminish that at all, but generally speaking, if, if you want to create wealth at something, Go find somebody that's creating wealth at the exact same thing you want to create, not creating wealth trying to sell you their knowledge. Uh, so what we're going to do today is we're going to go through a series of frontline builders that, and I'm going to, and they're, they're all experts at a lot of things, but they all kind of have certain things that in my mind, they just really stand out at. So let's just start with our host this morning. I'm a co-host. Chris Dole is generally hosting this. I'm his co-host. But Chris is, is in a joint training with Aaron and Dr. Ginger. I think they have about 300 people in a big room up in Grand Rapids, Michigan this morning. So Anthony Moreland is actually our host this morning. And Anthony does everything right. But one thing Anthony does exceptionally well, and you all will know this to plug in, is that Anthony is always there. He shows up. 
And, you know, I always should tell my football players, my coach high school football, that when we open the weight room up, showing up is half the battle. Every day you miss is a day we can't make up. We only have you for four years and there's weekends and summers and vacations. And so in this business, showing up at events, uh, at weekly meetings, at Zooms, uh, at, at Saturday morning trainings, um, they're just, if, you, if you have a desire to build an income here, can never be understated. So Anthony, why don't you walk us through your philosophy of plugging in, how it benefits you. And, and really what I want to know from you, Anthony, is how do you make the commitment to do it? Because everybody has the same ability, but, but um, and I'm not as good as you are, Anthony. I miss stuff that, that I know you're on. So I, I, I've got my own set of excuses, four kids, football games, basketball games, you name it, in addition to, to real life. So we all have those things. But Anthony, how do you always seem to make time? Uh, one thing I learned a long time ago, hey, we as people make time and money for what we what we want. So we're going to make time and money for whatever it is that you truly, truly want. And also something that stuck with me, I, I, I believe it was my good friend, Justin Martin, told me that. But we had we were at an event in Dallas. It was my first event in 2011. And uh, I remember a leader saying on stage, I forgot who it was. but They said leaders don't miss events. If you want to be on the stage and you want to make it to the top, you got to, you know, you got to show up. And um, also just staying put in has helped me out so much over the years. It actually helps you when you actually uh, don't feel like working the business or maybe you just going through life. You know, life is hard on you. Well, staying plugged in has actually helped me out a lot because when I think I'm going through something bad and then I get on the Zoom and I hear about, Maybe a lady who has seven kids and she's a stay-at-home mom by herself and, you know, she's doing this business on the side. And she had seven reasons why she could not be on this Zoom or not building the business. Or then you go and hear about somebody, they working two, three jobs to take care of somebody that they love and care about. Or, you know, my good friend, Justin, who didn't have the money, you know, to take his wife out on the date. And, you know, just different things like that. That's what made me realize, like, wow. I need to stay more plugged in. But how do I do it? Uh, we all have a calendar. We all have a calendar. It has, you know, 30, 30 to 31 days on it. And you just got to, I ain't telling you, you got to plug into everything. I plug into everything because instead of me watching a football game or maybe going to a party or something of that nature, hey, um, I realized like, hey, this is what I want to do. This is my profession. And, uh, you know, if you want to do it full time, this is this is what you do. You you. To me, I just believe you plug in. And because uh, if we worked at, when I worked at Apple, guess what? When they told me to be there at, at seven o'clock in the morning, guess what? I was there at seven o'clock in the morning and I stayed till when? Till they told me I was off. And so what happened when, when I joined the business, you know, why would I just, oh, well, I can miss that. Well, no, it's, I decided to walk away from Apple to do this. So I need to show up here because this is what I want to do. So either a couple places going, you know, you either tell your time where it's going to go or, or you go, or it's going to tell you where it's going to go. So Anthony, I, I want to ask you, and I know for those of you that are co-hosting with me today, I have to run off of satellite internet when I'm at home. So I know I'm a bit delayed just letting you guys know what goes on when, when you're like, man, he's slow coming, showing back up. But Anthony, one other thing you do exceptionally well, you do a lot of stuff well, but the one other thing you do exceptionally well is you, you, keep these group techs going both for your own organization and even for cross-line leaders you've got me in one and man it's so helpful i get uh zoom links and stuff all the time because literally at this point there's something you could plug into every day and some days are easier for some than others and it's, you know sometimes that can be radical but talk to us about why talk to us about how every leader should do that is keep their teams informed of when zooms are and and getting them plugged in to the, to the RX Nation, the MOA Challenge, the different Facebook groups? Um, staying plugged in is very important just because you just never know when it's going to be that time for that person. How many times have we signed somebody up and we thinking it's, it's their go time, but it actually took a lot longer. They didn't, they wasn't ready to go maybe to a year, really. You know, they just kind of got in to kind of support you. 
or just kind of do it, but they never did it because life hit or something happened. So you just never know when the time is going to be. And what I've learned from just like watching my team and watching other people's team is timing is different for everybody. Something may spark up every 90 days. Life changes for everybody, either in a good way or a bad way. Every 90 days, pretty much every three months, life is changing. So the when you first share with them, they get started and then life happens. Somebody may pass away. Uh, you know, the house may burn down, a flat tire or something, something drastic happens to them in, in life. And then next thing you know, 90 days later, but you kept them plugged in, you kept them letting them know like, hey, I just keep you in the group. And just so they can be around other positive, motivated people. That's why I love MOA Challenge and RX Nation. If you aren't in those, you need to get in them like, like yesterday because because you can always get in there and see different transformations, see different people rank events. I mean, it keeps it on your mind. It's kind of like whatever you feed yourself, that's what's going to happen. So if all you watch is negativity or all you're listening to is negativity, that's all you're going to get. And so I, I believe the groups really help out people uh, because like you said, Todd, you may be busy. And guess what? You may have forgotten about something, but if we all come together and work as a team, to help each other out in the long run is going to help us when we get bigger and bigger and bigger because we're all one team, one dream. And so I, I just believe in just keeping everybody informed and uh, just doing the little things, the little things always lead off to the big things that, that come down the line. So I, I, I just, I just love keeping everybody doing my best to do that part, if anything. So takeaways from Anthony this morning are, you know, make sure that you yourself plug in as much as you can, especially if you're new, you'll learn something different on every Zoom, a different presentation, a different training, a different interview, a different owner. Uh, make sure you are in MOA Challenge and RX Nation, but more importantly, make sure everybody that you sign up, you get your team, the brand new person that signs up yesterday, immediately friend them on Facebook, get them put into RX Nation and MOA Challenge, get them, uh, and you don't have to do both. If you know, we all, we work simultaneously together, but if you wanna choose one of those, that's fine too. Some people have your own Facebook groups now too, which is absolutely wonderful. I would still put them in at least one big one. That way they can get updates. And you'll be amazed how that brings people to life. And Anthony, I have zero doubt in my mind that you're going to be worth $10 million in the near future because I see you do everything right. And I congratulate you for it uh, because it's a decision and everybody gets to make that decision. So next person we're going to interview, we're going to actually do three in a row here. Kim Gray, Richard Tuggle, David Daughtry. And we're going to, what we're going to cover here is, you know, I'm plugging in, I'm learning, I'm gaining knowledge, but as, and, and I, Dr. Crystal Vance is going to close us because she spoke on stage in Dallas and oh my gosh, she nailed it. If you want to be worth a hundred million dollars, she shared uh, three things that you got to do. One is you got to make contact. Uh, then you got to sign them up and then you got to get them started. So we're going to go to three people that, that execute that well. And then Dr. Crystal Vance is going to tie it all together at the end. We're going to hit a few other people in the mix, but Let's start with, by the way, Kim Gray and Richard Tuggle combined have sponsored 220 people in the last 24 months. Um, David Daughtry, probably an additional 50. Uh, so they're close. This, these next three people have put 300 personal people in the system. Kim Gray and Richard Tuggle started two years ago. They both I think Kim is about 500 people on her team and Richard's about 700 on his team. So they've grown a team to 1,200 people in 24 months. So what we want to know is what in the heck are they doing? And I know what they're doing. I'm just going to let everybody else know what they're doing today. So Kim Gray, let's start with you, a lady who did not want to do our business, actually had the products paid for her. She'd been on disability since she was 14 years old. She had muscular dystrophy. She was overweight. She was in a lift chair. She had no self-confidence as far as being an entrepreneur. She, she's a real, once you get to know Kim, you'll find out we call her the shark. Um, we all, everybody knows her as this lady that had muscular dystrophy that um, uh, has lost 80 pounds and is doing well in the business. 
those of us that know her well, we know she's one of the sharpest business people we've ever met in our life. That lady can sell anything to anybody. But Kim, I want to know, we all want to know how, where are these people coming from? How are you recruiting them? What are you saying? How are you using your social media platforms? <laughs> yes. Um, I just put my before and after picture on Facebook. Um, I keep sharing my my results, my transformation nearly every other day. And I just I just keep posting. Um, and I, I post on buy, sell, and trade um, with all the, the counties and the cities of buy, sell, and trade. And that's what I do. And people is contacting me um, because of my transformation. So if you were going to tell somebody else how to do that, be a little bit more specific, how, how do they go about something like that? Okay, um, well, I post my picture, my before and after picture, and then in the top, I don't talk about weight loss. I just talk about what great, I mean, the results that I have gotten off of these products. Um, or I might would say, wow, I can't believe this has happened to me. You've got to get their attention. And um, I've, I've got several of my teammates that, that tries to do it and they get blocked off, but you've got to actually put something on there. Um, like I said, to catch their attention. So I would put, wow, what a great uh, testimony I've got. These products are amazing. Um, things like that. That's the way I do it. And, and then, Kim, what's your follow-up? They make contact to you, you message, but then what's the next step? How do you follow up with them? How do you execute them actually getting signed up? I know that you do start a lot of people off as a customer, and then they become a distributor maybe the within that first 28 days or at the end of the 28 days. To walk us through that process. Okay, yeah, they will contact me and say, I want information. So I will private message them and then I would just get to know them first, personally. You know, well, how much weight do you need to lose? I don't go straight into the selling part. I, you got to get to know these people first and what they're wanting to do, what they're expecting the uh, product to do for them. And um, and then I might would ask them for their number, and they usually give me their their telephone number, and then I will contact them. Um, sometimes I will go as just a, a customer in the beginning, like you said, to get them um, sort of hooked on the product, and then they do love it. And before the 28 days, they're already contacting me again. I do, everybody knows, I do sell out of my car. Um, that is, and it's picked up since it, it died down a little bit um, with, the, um, with the COVID, but now it's picked back up. Uh, people's buying from me and within between two days I mean two weeks after buying out of my car a product now they're wanting to join so I'm I'm seeing that is picking back up and I have gotten probably a total of about seven to ten people in the last two weeks that has actually bought products directly from me and then now they're already I've done signed them up within the past two weeks yeah so so what Kim will do is she will put a new personal sponsor in and then she will go order and you can do this with any products. Her niche is her niche is the transformation pack, the MOA, the Rejuvenex and the drop. So she will then she'll go order the ultimate transformation, which are 10 MOA, 10 drops, 10 bottles of Rejuvenex. Um, after she gets her 30% back, she has $1,750 in it. And she, by the time she sells all of it out of her trunk, she has made $3,400 in cash. So she doubles her money. She takes those customers that have bought those products, sometimes singularly, sometimes together, whatever, you know, everybody's different. And she then flips them into a distributor. So it's kind of a slow walk process. Um, she's really, really good at it. If you want to know her price points on those three products, how she sells them. Matter of fact, just tell everybody, what's your price point on those three products out of your trunk? 
Okay, a box of drops is 138, a box of MOA is 125, and a bottle of Rejuvenates is $80. So on those three products, selling at those three prices, it doubles her money if she buys the transformation pack on a personal sponsor and gets that and gets that um, um, $450 back, which is 30% of the 1500 volume points of an ultimate. Kim, you're awesome. Stay with us. Richard Tuggle, you do a lot of the same things. Uh, and uh, you're separate than Kim. Y'all are not in the same business. You signed up at the same time frame. You've had a 100 pound transformation transformation also but but i think you're now 100 way over 100 personal sponsors 700 on your team tell us what you're doing maybe mimic and kim what are you doing different or add, add anything you want to on well first place i want to tell kim she is awesome i mean uh, you know she's somebody to out and um, i really admire her business a lot i mean Kim's got it. She's got it going. Um, but Todd, I, you know, as far as recruiting, um, you've got to personally go out and try to recruit. Um, can you hear me okay? Am I coming in live, Todd? It, it's not really. Up a little bit, but not too much, uh, Richard. Okay, I'm 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 actually traveling. And um, I pulled over. I thought I had pretty good reception here. But um, anyway, uh, you can stop me if, you, if I'm breaking up too much, Anthony. Okay. Um, I, I, you know, as far as personal recruiting, you've got to get that mindset that you're going to go out and find some people to recruit. You've got to work on it every day. I mean, they're just not going to beat your door down, come after you. Um, so I go out in mind to every day, as I'm out doing other things, other businesses are, are just going out to do this business uh, to try to try to recruit a new rep. Um, and, um, you know, how do you do that if you don't know a lot of people? Well, you, you know a lot more people than you, you think you do. And um, you, you start prejudging is what happens and you, you cross people off your list. Uh, the only people that I may prejudge it's people I know that are just flat busted that can't afford to, to even buy vitamins at Walmart. You know, uh, that, that may be the only people I might not talk to. Um, but also, you've got a lot of friends. Go in on Facebook. I know Kim's a Facebook. Um, she, she really hits that good. I like to go and, and get in contact with friends that I have not talked to in years. And you know what? I don't throw up on them about this business. Uh, I may talk to them eight to 10 times in a period of two months just to get reacquainted with them. And um, then they, they start looking at my post on Facebook and, and, you know, where we're having fun in Fort Worth, Texas, or we're having fun on a snowmobile trip in, in uh, Utah or something like that. And they start asking for it. And then I just sort of set them up that way. You know, you got to get reacquainted with your old acquaintances. And, um, you know, so that that's, um, but I'd say the, the main uh, deal is, um, you know, you got to go out and purposely do this business. You got to have a mind frame that you, you're a recruiter and, and, and that's what you do. And you go out and do it. And then everybody that just came up with the great excuse that Kim's got a great transformation and Richard's got a tra great transformation, but I don't. So I'm, I'm poor pitiful for me. We're now going to go to David Daltrey, who has built an empire that when he signed up, when he's wet, he weighs 125 pounds. He's a little <laughs> bitty guy. And um, David, tell us you, your secret. How have you built this empire? And then, David, I want you to move us now into actually helping your team grow about your weekly meetings and how you do your two-on-ones. Okay, great. Can you hear me okay, Todd? <clears throat> we got, Hey. Anytime we're dealing with Alabama and Arkansas and even me here in the Panhandle of Florida, can't none of us get good internet where we live. We're in cars on satellites. <laughs> right. Fire away, so, David. <laughs> all right. So the, the thing that I do, because you're right, I, I'm 160 pounds. Thank you. Not 125. <laughs> but listen, we, I use Kim's transformation a lot. Um, you know, that's a visual reference that people see and are impressed with. 
I also use Amy's transformation because I don't have that. And then I do what Kim does. I find out what the person wants. If I can help them, um, then we can go into a conversation about how I can help them. Um, and that just kind of leads into like whether I can do a two on one with them or if I can do a, bring them to a weekly presentation. When we first joined, Jerry or you one told me that for a business to grow, the best thing, one of the best things that we could do is hold a weekly presentation. So we decided to do that. And we learned real quick, the power of a weekly presentation for one is it, it gets a support group going where people know they can come to a place once a week and sit down with like-minded people doing the same thing and learn and share and get plugged back in. If they can't make it, that's fine. They can also send people. They don't have to be there. All they got to do is call me and say, David, I've got uh, Joe coming in to your presentation. Will you take care of them for me? And we take care of them. So the person doesn't even have to be there. But the other thing that's really, really powerful that I can't do by myself is it allows people to hear and see from people that are doing our program. When you have Kim there in person, or you have Amy or other people that are successful, Renee, Brenda, Steve, and I can go on down the line, you know, when they get up and start talking about how the presentation or how the products have helped them, it hits home with people. And it's not just me telling them, because like you said, I don't, I never had the transformation to lose. I didn't have the weight to drop but they, they get to see other people doing it and hearing their success. And they, they realize, cause everybody's so skeptical, you know, they realize that, Hey, this stuff works and I think I should do this. And then, you know, we build the, the, the team atmosphere there. And if we have a, a presentation to where people, nobody knew comes up, we turn it into a training so we can train the reps that are already in you know, on something that they want to learn more about. So no matter who shows up, we're, we're going to do something. And then when I was in Fort Worth, people asked, one of the main questions I got is, how are your meetings so big? And probably because we, we bring excitement for one into what we do, but two, we also offer incentives periodically. It's not every week, but I may say something like, hey, whoever brings the most uh, prospects or most guests I have something for you at this week's presentation. And so people get fired up because and they start inviting, you know, their aunt and uncle and all their kids and, and everybody. And, and we have a packed meeting. And I think, uh, you know, for, for us, the weekly meeting is something that I felt like has really made us successful in our community. Um, and then with two on ones, um, if, if somebody has invited me to come talk to one of their friends or one of their acquaintances that's interested in the business, I already know from that person a little bit about, about the person we're meeting. But when I get there, I take my iPad in and, and anything else that's business related. And I learned this from Todd, you know, always pay attention to your upline, you know, watch and learn. And the first thing I do is I set everything down in the seat beside me so they don't see anything related to business because I want to get to know them. And no matter what the person has told me about the prospect we're meeting, I act like I don't know anything and I let them start engaging in conversation with me. I ask questions and I don't get into a presentation until they are talking freely with me um, because until that point, I don't feel like I have the trust of that person. But then once we start talking openly and there's an open conversation, um, then at some point I'll look for an opening and I'll move into what are their goals and what are they wanting to achieve? What have they been told about RX and the products? And we'll go into a presentation from there. And then often during the two in one presentations, I like to do the, the uh, verification call I'll call Jerry or Todd or Kim or somebody. And, I, and I, of course, I've given my upline a heads up on that I'm going to be calling them. Um, and, you know, I'll just say, hey, Jerry, I have, you know, Joe here. Tell Joe how you got in this business and what your goal is or, or, or how the products have, have helped you. Whatever will relate to that person as to their goal is the question I asked Jerry or whoever I've called 
to talk about. And then, you know, all that seems to be working with us. And probably the biggest thing um, will be, I don't, you know, I don't listen to sales lines and, and pitches from people on, you know, on what to say. I just speak from the heart when I'm talking to somebody. I try to find out how I can help them. And if I can help somebody, they're more than likely going to join or at least buy products. And um, if, if you do that, I feel like you're going to be successful. So that's how we've done it here in Andalusia. And, um, you know, you have any more questions for me, Todd? Because that, that's my secrets. <laughs> David, you are absolutely amazing. That what you just shared there is the secret to creating wealth. And I don't know why everybody doesn't do that is that. You know, uh, and I know right now the virus does play uh, a, a different role in different places. You're in South Alabama where we've all already had it because we never wore masks. We're all immune down here. But in other places, I know that it's harder to be in public meetings right now. So these things can be done on weekly Zooms. Two on I, Yes, uh, this particular week, Sonia Enfinger in Huntsville, I was supposed to be with her in person. We had an issue, I could not get there. So for two straight days, we did two on one presentations. I think we did 14 Zooms together over a 48 hour period. So you can two on one with your upline. I love the big Zoom trainings. I don't think the big Zoom presentations are effective on converting new reps. They're great for people who are looking for a second time or are already in the business to kind of go and learn. but. But David, your incentives, David ran a weight loss competition. Uh, all the leaders chipped in about a thousand bucks and they had like four prizes. It ran over eight weeks, huge turnout for that. Uh, I've seen David give out cash for people bringing guests and products. So all that is just so effective. Uh, going, going now to Randall Jones, if you're out there on your own and you don't feel confident yet, Randall Jones joined our company only for health. Uh, for those of you that know his story, he's dropped way over about 150 pounds. He came off of 13 prescription medications, no more insulin. He was a type 2 diabetic taking in six insulin shots a day. But that's not why Randall's here today. Randall's here today because he pushed play yesterday, called me for a third-party verification, and on the spot signed up a lady with a two-month transformation pack. So, Randall, tell us how you got the lady to look. Tell us how you pushed play. Tell us how you did, tell us the whole story. How did you get this brand new rep yesterday? Absolutely. Um, well, first off, I talked to Anthony, and if any of y'all haven't talked to Anthony Moreland about how he does his business, take the time, Facebook him, and he will be happy, or at least he was with me, to sit down and kind of give you some ideas. I've taken on his challenge to, on Facebook, I literally find 30 people to talk to. Um, and it's not about the business. It's just 30 people to talk to. And it's, that's my challenge every single day. And uh, if you do the math, there's a lot of people throughout the year. And it's just, um, I started a conversation with a kid that I, uh, I taught, uh, had her in my class about four years ago, maybe five. And I just said, hi, how you doing? How's, uh, how's college? What are you doing now? And it was just a conversation we had. And the next thing I know, I get a text from his mom that, Literally, uh, she wanted more information about my 100-pound transformation. Um, I didn't even know uh, Gabby's mom. I just I knew Gabby. And I, I just uh, sent her a few videos about uh, Senator Kim's video. I sent her the one to Deanna Latson talking about Slender Eyes. And then I set the appointment and said, let's meet. Uh, when can you meet? She set up the appointment yesterday. I walked in the door, kind of uh, got her story, told her my story. And got to know her a little bit. She does need to lose weight. She needs to get some uh, issues taken care of her health. And of course, it's the things I've gone through. So we just had that nice long conversation. I went to MOA uh, Research, uh, Research MOA, and played the video. Of course, before Hannah, I texted Todd and said, are you free at about 4.30? And at 4.30, when I hit play, I texted him, hit play. So he knew in about 15 minutes, I'd be calling. And sure enough, and 15 minutes later, I just said, would you like to meet my health coach, which is what I call Todd, because he is kind of a coach for me. He's a coach for a lot of stuff. And it worked really well. She's going to buy a two-month uh, um, pack, and she's going to be a great rep. I, mean, uh, I didn't know this when I got to know her, but she, her business has just been shut down because of COVID, literally out of business. She's looking for other ways to make money. And I had no idea what I was getting to when I said hi to Gabby. 
So just talk to people. Um, Chris used to say to me, uh, I, I make a really good secret spy because I was hiding and you just don't hide. Go out there and talk to people. Okay, so the video that Randall used is called Be Transformed. It's about the third video down on researchmoa.com. But I'm going to tell you, we're shooting another, uh, Brent Palmer, Chris Doyle, a lot of us were together. We're going to shoot a bunch more videos. We're going to get some professionally done across the board with a lot of leaders. But, I'm gonna, you know, we live in 2020. If you want to do your own presentation and film yourself and upload it to YouTube, you presenting how you want to present, you can make your own video for your team. Doesn't have, I always think sometimes the amateur ones sign up more people than the professional ones do. So um, um, don't, but Be Transformed is a professionally done one. It's on that website. We're moving so fast as a company. It is a little bit outdated, although it was shot only six months ago. Um, but that's one you can use. You can make your own. Just You just want to provide your team something that they can push play on. I will tell you, if you're going to make your own, make them less than 10 minutes. The less is more. Less is more. And don't, don't, don't spend all of your time sending this video out to people praying they're going to watch it. We can, A whole other training, I'll teach you a system of how to send a video and make sure they watch it. Matter of fact, we'll talk about just a second. We're doing a big event in Destin, Florida. It just got announced two days ago. Uh, it'll be the 20th and 21st, I believe it's Friday, Saturday, that weekend of November. It is located directly on the beach at the Holiday Inn. The info is out there on, on our research, Moa, I mean, I'm sorry, on MOA Challenge and on RX Nation. But on that Friday, um, there's only going to be a couple of us training on Friday. And, and that is one going to be one of the things that we're going to be training on is, is we're going to classify Friday as a, a, a dream builder's uh, uh, day. Uh, somebody that wants to build this into a million dollar business, Friday will be the day you want to be there taking notes. Saturday will be a convention style event where we're going to train on everything. All the leaders coming in from all the countries, all over the country or countries will be splitting that up and training on different subjects on Saturday. But just a don't miss event here in Destin on November 20th, 21st or 21st, 22nd, that Friday, Saturday of that weekend. All right, Dr. Crystal Vance, we're coming to you now. You've got the entirety of the last 15 minutes. I love your three-step process. Make contact, sign them up, get them started. Dr. Crystal. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, you guys, I, I love what I have just heard this morning. It is like, it's so refreshing. It renews my spirit. I love coming on here. And being reminded of the things that work. Because <laughs> sometimes you're like, oh, squirrel. Oh, I could do this. Oh, I could do this. Oh, I'm not doing this right. And oh, I'm not doing this right. And that's why it's not growing. And it's like, have you ever had one part in your car like go wrong? And, and you're like, the whole car doesn't work. Because, because my starter doesn't work. This piece of crap car. And it's the whole car is bad because the starter's bad. And so like, I love this because it makes me remind if I ever get frustrated, it's not the whole, it's not the business. It's just this one little section. And if I go get it tweaked and fine tuned, it's a beautiful car. I love it again. It's my favorite ride. I named her Sally, right? Like you're all back in love. And so thank you. Cause you guys literally like Kim and Randall and um, David, you guys made me fall back in love again. I, I'm like, I love the simplicity and how simple this is. It's literally just talking to people. Like, I love that. He's like, well, I, David, I, I just, I don't even start talking business until I've created a friendship. And, and I let them talk and it's like, oh yeah, I, I'm so worried about what I'm gonna say and if I'm gonna say it right that I forget to listen to them. And I am telling you, there's been a lot of times that, and you made me, re, it, it reminded me so many times where I've just sat there at the table and didn't really have to say anything. They knew that I had this in my life and they wanted it. That's why they had lunch or they had whatever with me. And then they talk and all of a sudden they're like, you know, I really want to do what you're doing. <laughs> you're like, I haven't told you anything. 
I know, but I, I can see that your life is going and what you're doing. And I want to be a part of that. And so getting somebody started and getting somebody enrolled, literally just be you and go be a friend to somebody. Because I guarantee you're not so different. <laughs> what makes you so different that you can't be successful here? Kim is having success. Randall is having success. You see, Anthony is having success. Todd, you see all these people having success. What makes them so special? What are they doing that you can't do? They're just getting in the presence of a prospect as, as I was mentored. You have to get in the presence. Kim is putting herself out there. Is that the exact way you wanna do? I don't know but she's getting herself in front of somebody. David is getting people to the events. Doesn't matter how he got them there. He's getting in the presence of prospects. See what we have, if you can just get it in front of people, then it works and it's beautiful. So stop trying to do it so perfect and just get it in the presence of a prospect. And then once you get them, in the presence of them, now you have to ask the question, are you ready to get started? There's so many times I have let the, the fish off of, the, I let them take my bait and run. <laughs> because I was afraid to, like, cause there is a little bit of a science to it. Like David was saying, and, and how, you know, a little art to it. You gotta know when to flip that hook and, and sink it. And it's after you've built the friendship, after you've created the relationship and you pull that and you go, do you want to do this with me? I would love to do this with you. Yeah, I think I do, but I don't know what to do. You don't have to. First, we have to get you started. We got to get you a pack and always start somebody out. Don't be afraid. What if you messed, what if because you were afraid of what was in their pocketbook, you messed it up for somebody to earn 30%. They could have earned twice as much. So always let them know when you are ready to get a pack, let them know that ultimate is available. Start at ultimate and go down. It's really hard to start at the least and go up because they're like, whoa. But if you started high and came down, guess where they're going to probably land? somewhere in the middle. But if you started at the lowest, guess where they're going to start? At the lowest. So you start ultimate. Why? I want to make sure that you know this is available. This would max out your earning potential. Those words are so huge. This would max out your earning potential if you start with the ultimate pack. If you're not available to do that, and I totally, no judgment, I totally understand if you can't, there's a way I can help you get there in the, in the first 30 days. We'll talk about that later. So I set that, like they know it's an intention. I've set that up there that I want to help them be successful and they can still have success even if they don't have the cash to start right there. Now I help them figure out what pack based upon our conversation, I got some dings. They were talking about weight loss. Oh, you know what? I think this, this pack would be the best one for you. Oh, they were talking about health. Oh my goodness. You need to maybe you got to get something with Moa in it. Oh, you got to get something with original in it. You're listening so that you know how to direct them. And once the pack is done, that is not the end. That is the beginning. And a lot of times I see, and I have done it, where it's like, I just, oh, I, I finally got one. Yes, 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 I got one. And, and then you're like, okay, let's wait till their products come. It's all done with the best of intention. Let's wait till their products come. And then I'm going to call them and we're going to get them started. I want to let them try everything out. Okay, so they get started. They wait till their products come. Four days, five days, maybe, depends on the weekend, how it shipped. Now I got to let them try it a couple days. I'm now 10 days into their 30. I've 
wasted a third of their time to go ultimate, letting them try the products they were already excited to try. They would not have spent the money if they weren't already excited. So from the minute that somebody gets a pack, you start them on their 30 day to ultimate. Even if that seems uncomfortable, it's getting, it's getting the wheels, getting the momentum. Because it's funny, you'll see people wait all month and in two days hit their goal that they could have done in the first two days that they were here, but they had to get the momentum rolling before they trusted you. They trusted the system. They trusted the company. And once they had trust, then bam, they rock it out and they hit that goal in a couple of days. So how do you help them? This is what I do, okay? I get their pack and then I identify their why. And I should know their why from listening to what was going on in their life before we got their pack. But if not, I'm always going to ask it again because they might share something with me a little bit deeper, kind of like what happened with Randall, where later on he found out she had lost her, lost her job or lost her company. So I'm going to say, realistically, over the next year, what is your goal here? Why do you want to do this? You're going to have that why for a reason, because there's going to come a point, Brent Palmer knows my why, because there's going to come a point when I'm tired and I'm beat down and I'm busted and life is kicked me in the teeth and my mentor has to remind me why I started this. So as an upline, are you reminding your downline? Are you reminding your family? Are you reminding your friends why they got started in the first place? Or you're just going, I didn't think they'd stick around long anyways. I knew they were just here to lose weight. I, I knew it. And, and we just kind of let them go because you feel like you failed them because you didn't help them get to ultimate or whatever it is. It has nothing to do with that. It has to do with reminding them of their why because you can't do their why for them. They have to. So your job is to remind them of their why. So get their why. And now you've got to get them in the presence of their prospects, a list of names. So their why, and now a list of names, at least 25 names. And if it is open up your phone and let's start at A, you have a name list, it's in your phone. Oh, I don't really know anybody. How many names are in your phone? Oh, um, and they'll laugh. Oh, I know. I probably got about 500 people. I know. You have a name list. And I promise you, your friends are just like you. And so then I might say, because we know this, teachers, preachers, coaches, hair, uh, <laughs> I wear a wig. I can't even, cosmetologists. <laughs> Right? We know business owners, we know those are the people to start a name list with. So I'll start using those as a memory jogger. Who do you know that's a teacher? Oh, Ashley, put her name down. Who do you know that's a coach? Okay, put her name down. Positive, motivated people, self starters. Who do you know that is like totally, if you tell them about something new, they're like, absolutely, I want to do it. We want their name on this list. Now we do the list and we take 10 minutes, 15 minutes to create this list of names. I help them. Now I also have names in my memory bank. I'm writing these names down too, by the way, when they're talking, I'm post because later I'm like, Hey, did you ever reach out to Ashley? That's what a mentor does or a coach does. They give you little dings every once in a while and say, come on, believe in yourself as much as I believe in you. And then here's the magic move. This is how you take somebody from being a watching what's happening to doing what's happening. Let's get two events scheduled for you in the next seven to 10 days. Two, why? Because you're gonna offer one to somebody and they're gonna say, I can't do it. Why? They don't know. They just naturally were like, no, I'm scared. I don't wanna do it. Oh, but here's my next, here's my next time. And here's what they typically won't do. They typically will not tell you 
no twice in a row. So they'll almost always take the second event. But either way, you have two events set up. What if you only had one? Even now, if you've already like launched and you've already done all this, if you're like, you know what, I'm going to do a Zoom on Tuesday night for my friends to go into. I'm going to call Anthony and see if he'll do a Zoom with me for just me and my friends. Because Todd's right. It works better in a smaller group because they're seen. If I only have it for Tuesday night, then I've lost the momentum I created on Tuesday night. I can't say, hey, I got another one of these on Thursday. You can bring you and one of your friends too. You're always building for the next event. So you're always booking events in twos. If Todd is coming in, I guarantee you, Lorraine isn't like, when Todd gets there, she's not gonna be like, well, I don't know when the next event is. She's already got it in her calendar when her next event is because people who come to Monday's event are gonna be funneled into that next event so that they can bring their friends. We don't wanna lose that opportunity to announce it at the event. You get those two events and what happens is they bring people in and now you have prospects to work and funnel to get them to ultimate. Ultimate should be their first rank. Ultimate and gold should be what you have them focused on in that first 30 to 60 days. Why? Because it puts money in their pocket that they can reinvest to get up to ultimate status. And it also gives them maxed earning potential for the life of their business. You're setting their business up with them to be successful for life. You're also getting them engaged in the power of four, four by four by four. If you'll grab four, I'll grab four. You grab four, I'll grab four. Can we do it in the next 30 days? Yes. Will that help us hit gold? Yes. Will it help us get to ultimate? Yes. See, that gets all of our goals. And so if I tell them from day one, we're looking for four, they're going to start looking for four. But I've got to get them to see they've got to get it in front of 25 to get four. That's why we're making the name list. Because if I'm just like, you know, go grab four people and invite them to your, to your first thing, how many of the four are going to show up? And now they're sad. Well, none of my friends want to do this with me, so I don't think this is for me. I'm just going to use the products. But if I'd have had them build a name list and they invited 25, they'd have had four on there. And they, do you see what I mean? The, the law of large numbers. And that's literally how you get a team of 1,500 people and 1,200 people like they've done. They get somebody started and then they help them get started and they help them run an ultimate, they help them run at gold. And all of a sudden you have duplication. And that is a beautiful thing, especially when you hit momentum. So I'm not sure if I covered everything, Todd, that you'd like me to cover there. Oh, yes, you did, Dr. Crystal. That was absolutely awesome. Thank you so much. Y'all see why I love Dr. Crystal. I always learn from her. I got a whole half a page of notes from Dr. Crystal alone. I'm always learning from her. Uh, and yes, this will be recorded. I, I know a lot of people was texting me and asking me also, would it be recorded? Yes, it will be, be recorded. It has been recorded and it will be added on my YouTube channel and I also put it on Chris Doors for him. And also, hey, give yourself a pat on the back. You got up at 9 a.m., 8 a.m., 10 a.m. In some places, you got on something. This is your business, so treat it like a business. You treat it like a hobby, it'll pay you like a hobby. And most hobbies don't pay us very well. Most of them cost money. Even people say, I like to work out. Well, guess what? The gym membership costs money. So those hobbies cost money. This one right here will actually pay you like a business when you work it like a business. Get your calendars out. Put on... Get your whole little 30-day calendar out. That's one. You want to know, I guarantee if I ask Ty Rowland and Dr. Crystal one thing, can I see your calendar? I bet it's packed with, with events, big events, small events, two-on-ones, life, regular things they're doing in their life. But I, I guarantee that it's filled up. So if they're doing it and you want to be like them, 
well, why aren't you doing it? Why is it your calendar filled up? And so that's what I encourage you to do. It's today, Saturday. A lot of people have a little bit more free time. Well, okay, if you want something to do this weekend, fill out your calendar. At least for the next 14, 21, 28 days. That's how that's how true leaders do. You know, they're always putting things, their calendar is filled out. They know what time slots they have. They know what time they got to go to work and they know what time they got to, you know, they got to work on their business on the side on a part-time basis. Most of us are part-time. So, okay, well, put your work schedule on there and then put what you're going to do to work your business. And uh, that's what I highly encourage you to do this weekend. And also, if you want to get in that, I made the group on uh, Facebook Messenger. If you want to get the updates, I made it. And trust me, it won't be hard for me to inform everybody about it. Just message me on Facebook so I know to add your name to that group. Some of y'all are already on the, the text message one, but it only allows me to do 30 people. So Facebook, I could do a thousand. So, hey, go on, get in there and you can invite your team on there. And it won't be all the, you know, I'll show you how to mute it if you want to, but mostly it just be for, it'll be just for updates on the Zooms and, and the events coming up, big events. So, hey, I hope y'all got value from this. I did. Uh, I'm going to stop the recording. I want y'all to tell all my wonderful friends, thank you.